What? Make it happen. Make it happen, y'all. Okay. It's amazing how reckless we can be. How thoughtless our intentions are. We ex expect to be doing the right thing, yet we fail to decipher whether it will hurt more than just ourselves. Your mother doesn't want to see you addicted to the toxins you are using to block out whatever toxic thoughts you're fighting. Your father doesn't want you to fall down a path he has witnessed within himself countless times. Your sister, your brother, they expect you to be their knight in shining armor. Help them see a world worth living, a world that is stronger than the sedatives it prescribes. You must tranquilize the desire to be tranquil, for you are not at ease. You are only forcing the intoxication that will intoxicate the toxins. You are not bandaging what needs to be healed. You are not helping yourself. They tell you love is the worst drug, but it isn't love that is hurting us. It isn't love that we create a tolerance for, and the withdrawal of love is not because it is no longer there, because love is always there. If you depend on love, once it is gone, you'll feel like the holes it left require replacement. Soon you'll be addicted to the substances you promised yourself to never try thinking they will fill in the missing heart-shaped pieces that became that love became a hole puncher just to force out of you. People don't use drugs because their life is perfect. The opposite is true. You see, love is a drug, but it is not the worst. It's the healthiest, yet the heaviest, once you realize it can be harvested in you, whether someone is giving it to you or not. You become your own dealer of love of happiness.